This video presentation is based on the original PDF uploaded on eLearning. Good day everyone. Again, I hope you're all safe and well. Welcome to part 5, the last part of this NoSQL video series. So let's get started. Now column store database stores data using column oriented model. Now data is stored in cells grouped in columns of data rather than as rows of data. They use the concept of key space. It's kind of like a schema in a relational model. So in a relational model, schemas give us a view or structure of the entire database. In a column store database, a key space here, a key space will give us an idea of the entire structure of this column store database. Now a key space contains column families. So here are column families here in this example key space. One, two, three, four, five column families. Now column families here are kind of like tables in a relational model. Column families contain rows. So these are rows. And within each row, there are columns as expressed in this example here. Now, examples of column store database programs are Bigtable, Cassandra, HBase, and there are a few other database programs that support column store databases. Now, column-based NoSQL databases are widely used to manage data warehouses, business intelligence, customer relationship management, or CRM, and library card catalogs. Now, let's take a look at an example of a column family. Now, the structure of a column store database begins with a key space, right? Again, the key space contains all the column families. Column families are like tables in a relational model. So in this example, we have a student profile column family. This column family consists of three rows. So this is the first one. This is the first row, the second one, and the third row. As you may have noticed, each row contains different number of columns. In this first row, we have the column name, age, and department. In this second row, we only have name and a phone. And on the third row, we have a name, a gender, and a country. So what this means is that the columns don't have to match the columns in other rows. They can have different column names and different data types. So let's take a further look at one of the rows of this student profile column family. As you can see in here, for each row, there are columns. So this row here, there are three columns in this example. For now, each column is contained to its row and it doesn't span all rows like in a relational database. We don't do it like that. In a relational database, one column spans several records, but in here, a column is contained within a row. Now, each column contains a name value pair. As you can see in here, we have a name, a value. So there is a name value pair along with a stamp. Note that this stamp in this example here uses Unix epoch time for the timestamp. Again, each column contains a name, a value, and a timestamp. So here is again the breakdown of each element in the row. This is your row key. Each row has a unique key, which is a unique identifier for that row. It's likened to a primary key. And then we have the columns. So this is one column, another column, and another one. Now each column contains a name, a value, and a timestamp. And so it goes with the rest of the columns. Name, value, timestamp. Name, value, timestamp. So this is the name. The name is the name of the name value pair. And obviously the value is the value of the name value pair. Now the timestamp 
provides the date and time that the data was inserted. So timestamps can be used to determine the most recent version of data. And that ends our lecture about column store databases. So we have now finished the five parts of this NoSQL video series. In conclusion, we can say that NoSQL databases can handle structured, semi-structured, and structured data. And then it has a flexible schema design, which can easily be altered without much time. We have known about key value pair, about document-oriented databases, then we have graph databases, and this video is about column store database. We can further conclude that the implementation of NoSQL databases are simple compared to relational databases. Yep, these are the online references for this video. So thank you so much for watching this video about column store databases. And if you have watched the previous four videos, then you have successfully completed the NoSQL series. If you have some questions or clarifications regarding this topic, NoSQL, ask them in the comments below, or better yet, go to eLearning and ask questions in the forums provided. And that's it. The NoSQL series has ended. Be well and stay safe. See you.